G'day YouTubers. Um, on this week's episode, we find our first nuggies for the year. So we're both pretty happy about that. Took yeah. us a, a good week, 10 days to get on some ground. Yeah. Tanya done a bit of research and put us in the right spot. Found the first four nuggies. So good mm -hmm. job, love. And um, we also, we've had the PV350 from Blue Eddy for a couple of weeks now and um, that's working really well. So. Um, I'll just do another little review on that for you, um, let you know how that's going. Um, yeah, having a fat time so far. Um, not big on the gold, but um, you know, just sneak up on it. <laughs> <laughs> sneak up on it. It's only the first week. Yeah, only the first oh, week. So well, first week of fines. First week of fines. We've been out here for a couple, but um, yeah. So that's about it. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you do, make sure you uh, like and subscribe and share to your mates and um, just makes our channel grow a bit quicker and then we can do more videos. So, yeah, cheers and happy hunting. Hope you get out for a swingy dingy and find a big nug. Cheers. Hope you do too. Me too, oh. yeah. <laughs> See you, peeps. <laughs> See ya. Hi, guys. We've been, we've been detecting for a few days just exploring this new area I'm trying to see if there's any gold around and I've got my first decent sounding target I found plenty of rubbish so far but this is my first decent sounding target and I'm really hopeful it's my first bit of gold for the year so I thought I'd throw the camera on and we can find out together How's that for an amazing view? I don't think the um, GoPro will do it justice. Nah. So Fat Bastard got a new toy when we were in Perth. I wasn't too impressed at first, but quite handy having a uh, hot pie warmer in the um, car for Smoko. And today we've got hot pizza. Looks like a good spot to enjoy it. Hey, yarn. On top of the world here just come up this track and uh, have a look at the ground looks beautiful looks like nullagine but we're not beautiful shales yeah how nice is it so nice you know there's gold in the area too because there's some old mine shafts and stuff around so hopefully it's not all deep gold and there's a few little nuggies around We'll get out for a little swingy dingy in a minute and have a look-see. How about Smoko first? Yeah, I'm going to have some pizza for Smoko. So, uh, had a bit of leftover pizza from last night and we're going to whack that in the pie warmer. It's in the pie warmer ready, so it should be uh, all good to go. Smoko! Oh, we got pizza, eh? Yeah, what's that? Need the tongs. Nah. In the next two hours. Oh. Pizza! Yay! Mmm. Pizza out bush. Ah, oh, that's a go, isn't it? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Bundy's interested. 
type of rock this is but it's got a nice golden sparkle to it so we're just back after day three no gold and a flat tire oh a flat tire 400 bucks down the googler like a bad driver this bloke yeah and how much gold you got this year so far uh, zero, zero gold, <laughs> one tyre, rewire a caravan, probably down about 30 grand. Okay. Yes. That's about it, service a car, repair the div. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyone knows any gold spots, give me a call. We had to have T-bones again. They've just got heaps of T-bones here on this station. <laughs> oh, it's pretty bloody good. Can you have too much T-bone? <laughs> no way. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hi guys, we've had a pretty quiet start to the year, haven't got any nuggets yet. Um, we're just working an old dead SBL here at the moment. Uh, we just came across a whole heap of rakings, so we thought we'd work around the rakings. That bastard's just working up top of them there and I'm working below them. And I've got quite a nice target here, so I thought I'd flick the camera on in case it's my first nugget of the year. Fingers crossed. any rubbish so far either so that's good Nice to see a bit of gold in the scoop. Just a tiny little bit, but it's so good to see gold in the scoop. First bit for the year. So I reckon we'll move the caravan here now and we can work this area. There's scorpion coming in for the bugs. Whenever you're tackling scorpions in the bush, you should always have a rump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Look, look at him. Ooh. 
Come on, get on the stick, mate, and I'll fucking save you. You stick around here, you'll get fucking splattered. He's, he's pretty fucking upset. Flip on your clipper. I need to put my glasses on something and stick her in the clipper. A sticker in the clipper? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. She's got a bit of over there and where I found the couple little nuggies was about 50 meters in front of the van over there but I just walked this way this morning just to explore a different area and I was making my way over here to this quartz and I came across this old dry blowing pile and I found a little nuggie in there and so I'm just working my way around it and I've got a target just right here so I thought I'd flick the camera on and see if I find another one Just got me first little bit, didn't film it of course, and I'm um, just upslope from that and I've got another little target here so I'll give you a listen. Um, so we just moved the van out here, if you can see it up on the horizon. I'm probably 150 metres away or so, 200 metres away. And um, she got her first little nuggy out here um, the other day, so we moved the van out and it's her first morning detected. I've been going for about an hour and I got a little nuggy. Yeah. So that's the first one I found. Not a bad little nuggy. And uh, 0.2 or something. It's not, they're not very big around here. So I'd say it'd be a good dry blowing area actually. There are fucking some piles around so... Actually might be a hot rock. Bloody hot rock. Well. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? One little nuggy, one hot rock, and about 10 bits of uh, trash. All right, hopefully the next one's a good one. See ya. Oh, it didn't take long, got another target here. Um, yeah, so that's the other one over there. It's quite deep, that one. This one sounds deepish as well. So I'll give you a listen. As you can see, I've got the uh, X-Coil 15-inch CC on, the 7000. Hopefully it's still in there. Go on. Might have been a bit of ground noise. Nothing in the hole. Something, we've got something there, <coughs> not overly big. Right. Not a big, not a big one. This one's just probably smaller than that last one. It's 
tiny. It's gold. That's only a little one. Ah, oh, the old CC coil, eh? Strikes again. Come on, I'll spin around here a bit. Yeah, it's not too bad, little. Be just point two that. Maybe a point one something. Happy days. Oh, I'll see you on the next one, on a roll now. It's three for the morning. See ya. Oh, good evening, how you going? The old sun's just about to poke down over there. But I've got a nice sound of noise here. It's on the edge of the road, so you never know. But it, it sounds pretty good, so give you a listen and see what you reckon. It's quite a nice noise, that. So I'll set you up over here. You might be able to watch the sunset. Hope you're having a frothy. Yeah, I'm going to call this one for gold. This is a nuggy. Hopefully it's still in there now. Yeah, it's nearly blanking. But the good thing with the 15cc was I'm running that flat out and difficult. Just I tried it in normal earlier, but there was just too many hot rocks. So I'm running it flat out in difficult, 20 sensitivity, lowish threshold. It seems to be working well. That's why it's blanking. That's got him out. over that way. Oh. Made a fucking racket, didn't it? I think it just blew the WM12 up. Fucking me. That's not good. I was blanking that WM12 out, so hopefully it's a nugget on the edge of the track here. It could be something. A bit of lead or something. Let's have a look-see. It's up here somewhere, wasn't it? It's in my hand. I can see a bit of yellow, I think. No. I oh, don't tell me I dropped it. No, that's still in there. Picked up the wrong bit. Wouldn't think that little pissy bit of blank. A little, just a little tiny bit. Oh, don't drop it, you silly old bugger. There you go, in the hand there. Little tiny bit. Good depth, eh? I'll check that hole, because that's pretty noisy for that little nugget. Anyway, that's what happens when you run these CC calls on um, high sensitivity, they scream. G'day YouTubers, old fat here. This is our first trip for the year and we've just had our new Bluetti, um, it's a PV350 solar panel, um, turn up in the mail. So what we've got set up on the van, we've got 450 watts of solar panel on the roof of the van. Because we had limited room up there, I couldn't put really any more up there and I only had to put them to one side and that makes it harder to clean. So if you've got the annex and all that up, we can't clean it. Um, so we needed to get a new um, external solar panel 
to put in so we contacted Blue Eddy and they've sent out this beauty here so this this one here is the PV350 and if you come in close it's got a beautiful um, I'm, I'm not sure the technical details but uh, cover over it and you can see the quality of it it's 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 a lot better quality one than uh, a lot of the fold out ones so it, it's just got these pull out legs right and they they're on a, a roll up valve um, strap so you just pull that strap out secure it in the ground like that and that's very stable um, I thought I thought they'd need a peg hole in there to peg them down but they're very they're very stable and we had 25 to 30k winds last night the solar panel didn't move anywhere so with all the blue eddy gear um, it comes with standard with mc4 connectors and i'm going to write to blue eddy and and see just for the australian market if if they could make a couple of adapters up because we mainly use anderson plugs when we're plugging into stuff so all the vans set up with anderson plugs all our other gear set up with Anderson plugs. So all as I've done, which is a quick fix, it's an easy thing to do. So I, I just chopped the um, MC4 connectors off and I can use them later on if I want to. And I just put an Anderson plug on the end. Um, so easy to do. If you don't know how to do that, or if you, if, if you want an easy option, apply an MC4 to an Anderson plug. That's probably the better one. And you can um, get that adapter and then you don't have to cut any wires. The lead's probably only about three meters. That comes standard with the Blue Eddy um, PV350. But you can get um, extension leads um, and any of the good electronic stores will have um, an extension leads that you can use. So we've just got an extension lead on here. It's fused and then that runs up through here and I just plug it into the van. So we've got dual um, Anderson plugs that runs into the controller, the solar controller, and that goes into our battery system. Um, I'll just have a look now, because I, I can bring it up on the phone. I might just have to go in the shade a bit. Oh, you don't know my <laughs> password. I'll keep that secret. Um, so I can then bring up my solar controller number two which is what this one's plugged into. And it's a 350 watt, the sun's not fully up, it's partially cloud, and it's putting in 336 watts. So coming in into the van, just from this one, is 34 volts, A eh? And about 10 or 11 amps, which is um, um, quite a bit. And then if I go into the main controller, um, I will see total, total, yeah, so it's 93%, so the solar panel's working really well. Um, makes a big difference having a bigger solar panel. So we're getting in about, <clears throat> I don't know, between 15 and 20 um, amps of uh, power into the van, um, which is way more than what we're using. So we, we run full time, we've got a freezer off the van, the fr compressor fridge off the van and they run 24 hours a day and then just your normal lights and stuff and then an inverter if we need to use it but but so far the performance is really really good and i'm just going to get tanya to come around here and it's probably hard to see with that sun glare so this is just a cheap generic um 300 watt solar panel but you can see the the difference of the screen it just doesn't have that cover over it so it gets scratched very, very easily, um, which will uh, reduce the performance over it over the time. And um, yeah, so cheap generic version or a good quality Blue Eddy version um, is the difference. So we'll see over time, see how it goes performing out because we're always out in the outback. This one weighs 14 kilos. This one's just under under that. I think that's about 12 kilos. Um, these ones has four panels, but they're bigger panels. Um, they've got a protective coating over them. And so far, so good. So I think that's about it. We'll put up the specs and um, all that as well 
uh, for the PV350, but thanks to Bluetti for um, sending it out to us in short notice. It's made a huge difference with the van. Dual purpose, we can use it in the van, and we also use it to charge the Bluetti up quickly. Um, happy days, do yourselves a favor. If you're shopping around for a new solar panel, pay that little bit extra and get good quality, and then you know you'll be right for years to come. All right, thanks, catch ya.